Hey, all these songs we had here, you know they sweets me again. You know they sweets me again. All this jam we had here. Jaga is an amazing rapper. Bruce Lee with the bars and also a producer as well. You know, about to take over the industry, the Nigerian music industry. That's who Jaga is, man. Get ready, man. We are here, man. Best rapper alive, <laughs> you know. I swear it a pain, oh. 12 strokes of the cane, oh. This government. Yes, my background. Um, my father is from Edu State, Isako Central. My mother is from Kalaba, Ediba. So I'm from two places. I'm mixed, you know. I went to secondary school in Bini, a place called Igbinadion Education Center. That's where I got my wits from, man. That's where I got this, this street mentality from, man. You feel me? Yeah. Then I went, to, I went to London to study music production in East London, University of East London. That's where I got the, the mix, you know. I'm not a science student, I'm a philosopher. <laughs> um, I, when I was in London, I was just doing music and putting it on the internet. But when I got here, I dropped to my first single that was, it was my mom that helped me with that project. It's called Summer Rose. Then after that, I decided to drop something like it's more my style because when I came here, people were trying to make me do what Nigerians wanted. So I dropped a hip hop project called Tell Somebody. It's a mixtape, it's 11 tracks. You can find it online, Google it. So that mixtape is where I'm actually bringing stuff from now. That's where all the singles I'm coming out with is coming from. My brother, on a, a video by, by myself, that's the name of the song. There's a video for that and there's a new song coming out, Controlling, Featuring Shady. Just shot the video, it's coming soon. That's where we're at right now. I'm just sitting here, all by myself, all by myself. Deep thoughts, reminiscing, all by myself. Uh, I'm, I, I would say I'm a hardcore rapper, but you, you can't really be a hardcore rapper out here, so. I just rap on Nigerian beats, you know, because I knew a lot of rappers that we all started together and they can't really rap on Nigerian beats. They always end up singing on it, just like everybody else does, you know. But I don't do that. I just do my normal rapping that I do, but you put that on a Nigerian beat. It don't really matter if you're riding in the city bus. Just keep your head up and stay focused. I wouldn't say I was forced to do anything, you know, it's just, See, there's procedures and like ways to do things. There's a way to do things over here. If you don't do it that way and it works for you, it's cool. But that doesn't still mean that this is not the way to do it. So I'm just like basically conforming myself to try and do it how it's supposed to be done, you know? Instead of bringing my own unorthodox style because they wouldn't understand like the kind of music that I do. Nigerians understand what they understand. You know? Leave all by myself, but I can't do it all by myself. So yes, because it's like the kind of music I do that I'm comfortable with is hardcore hip hop. That's not a it's not a market here. Nobody you're not gonna bring that as your, your style here, like if you, you're serious about actually being a musician in this country, you know? So I, instead of actually being a hardcore rapper, I just rap my hardcore stuff on a Nigerian beat, <laughs> you know? <laughs> what tool do I use to fix a broken world? Circumstances fortify the pain. How do you explain what you can't explain? Yeah, all those guys, they have the, the, the language, the rapping, you know, that's their strong point. Olamide has his Yoruba, Morel has his Hausa or Fulani or whatever he does, you know. But I use English, you know. I don't do any language. I don't rap in Yoruba or Edo or anything like that. So English is my, it's my lane. So that's how I'll create my, how them, they created their Igbo, Yoruba, there's still an English lane that nobody has created yet, you know?
all by myself. See, I came in this world all by myself, so I'm a leader. You can't change because what is it going to change to? I'm going to keep rapping, and the only thing that's going to change is the beats that I'm rapping on. That's all. You know, if the beat is appealing to your average Nigerian's mind, you know, like they, they, they have these kind of sets of beat for Nigerians, you know, that's the one you play for them when they want to vibe. You're not going to play a... <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. So it's not going to change. I'm going to keep rapping and maybe the beats are going to keep changing. So it's going to change in... It's, it just says 50-50. How you going to play it? The bench or the field? They say money can't buy happiness. No, I don't think, no. don't pay the bills. You ain't gonna make it too far with no skills. How you Normal business relationships. I don't have any cabalistic movement with anybody. They want to take away, but they ain't providing. Your boy breaking it. Yes, there was a time I was like hunting for futures, so I was just hitting everybody up. Yo, I'm trying to do this future. So the kind of replies you get sometimes, they tell you some big money or some, you know, some kind of stuff. And it just puts you off. You know. I should elaborate. I mean, no, I'm not going to mention anybody's name. Why would I do that? No. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I've hollered at a few people. They've turned me down. Some are famous, some are not famous. You guys know yourselves. It's okay. It's nothing. I don't have a grudge. I don't even think about it to start mentioning their names, to now be set in stone like he said that. What if I want to work with the person tomorrow? <laughs> I'm myself, but I'm going to need some help. Let's get it. It helps because it opens some doors that I cannot just get through by myself, you know. Sometimes just mentioning her name will get somebody's attention and they might want to answer you and do some business. Like, okay, there's a million musicians out there, why should I answer you, you know. It's like, you like my mom's fame though. Yeah, 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 it's true. I'm, I'm a big fan of your mom. Stuff like that, you know. The world got what the world got to offer Before you make a bigger young man gotta suffer Slick movements can't be half-stepping That's why I keep it dope with them off in an epinephrine No, because they don't always put it out They end up just making it and having it I think these people always just prefer Like using Mastercraft or something Well, you want me to name names of people I've produced? i produced, um, you know, Flow Sick i produced What's his name again? Produced a track for Run Town as well. Flowsick Flow featuring Run Town. Yeah. Then one other guy, Kenny B from Play Studios. I'm doing vector stuff now. I've produced like five songs on his computer, but they're just there. And I think he's releasing two. Something. One is for a, a water commercial. Then the other one is. Uh, some DJ anthem. Then, uh, who else have I produced again? You see, most of the people I produce, they are mostly underground artists, you know. So before I get a big guy through my door, it's like, ah, oh yeah, got this guy here now. And most of the time, like, I'm not even really allowed to say it because they just allow me to touch the track. Like, there was a time I was in a, a, a studio with Two Face, right? I just touched the track a bit and I couldn't, you, know, you can't say I produced it, I just touched it, stuff like that. You know, I'm an engineer, I'm not really like Mastercraft. I don't make the beats and I mean, I, I, I tweak the stuff. It's like when you make the song, when Mastercraft makes the beat, you bring me to come and make it sound like how it's sounding. Get where I am, you know. So they can't really be saying, I produced this person's track. Because uh, somebody else would have produced it. I just mix and master it. Stuff like that, you know. Woman got something that you want to do. Go do it. Got something that you go and do. Go do it. Go do it. Ain't nothing to it. No song I've ever released was mixed or mastered by anybody. I don't, I don't know about going to somebody's studio to let them mix and master my song and collect my money when I went to school for this. Deep thoughts, reminiscing all by myself, all by myself. I saw um, Mastercraft, um, that guy that does major banks, the other guy that did the uh, Terry Akpala's beats says something says the problem kid uh, young john the wicked producer i like all of them man you know there are some useless ones Sha. like they are not famous it's only the good ones that come famous which is what i like i don't you know, i don't see any nonsense producer out there that is just shining see that is actually intricate stuff because an artist can be rubbish 
and they just package him to be our producer. Oh boy, you have to be, actually be good, you know. If you bout this hip hop, raise your right fist. Only M I M O nine could do it like this. Maybe V E C N I sprint. No, like what I mean by because you are <clears throat> you are not taking it far. What I mean like the artist is rubbish. Like he's not as good as he's being portrayed to be. You know, he might be absolutely crap at singing, but they twist the vocals and, you know, chop off the breaths and make it all like a Christmas cake for you. And you find all sorts of people <clears throat> sounding like they're actually raw artists, but they're not. They're just useless guys that they just tweak their voice, you know? by myself so I'ma leave all by myself but, but I can't do it all by myself so I'ma need some help now sing uh hip hop <laughs> I like it I mean sometimes I might not just want to just be listening to people's music I want to see some people that are angry about what I might be feeling the same thing I might not feel it but I wouldn't do it I wouldn't get on camera or on wax or anything I start talking down on somebody directly I might just take a shot, like put their name inside the rap, and but like start saying something about their career or their their mothers or family or all those stuff. I don't think I, I don't know about that. Shah. I don't think it's cool. But the fact that it's being done is cool, Sha. <laughs> I, I don't know if you get what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, I enjoy the whole um, you know the craziness of you know this person said that. Well, God once said this about um, Sinzu. You know that card fraud they was talking about? I even went to watch the video like, yo, man, this is really this guy doing this right now. <laughs> you know, it's fun now. We, we all like that stuff, man, you know. Giddy, let's get it. NRG stand up. I think yeah. a few are actually good, I ain't gonna lie. Some are good now. But the rest are just so bad and it makes it seem as if everybody is bad, you know. That's just it. We might have a lot of hip-hop artists, very many of them, but they are not good. Because you like hip-hop doesn't mean you are a hip-hop artist. You see a lot of people, they listen to hip-hop when they're growing up, they're listening to this person, that person, ah, all the arguments with their friends about DMX and whatnot, you know. Before you know it, I don't know how they just ended up trying to rap themselves because they just like hip-hop, you know. So you have a lot of people who like this hip-hop stuff. Rapping. It's not as if they're actually blessed with the talent from God to actually know how you're going to envision the lyrics you're trying to, you know, do the job. You just, I don't know what they're doing. And it's real talk when I hold the mic. They know the stars out like a holy Okay, I did not think of a list, but I can usually think of people that I listen to normally. Like I like. Am I number one? That's like my best hip hop artist right now. If anybody wants to talk about hip hop, they should just point to Am I straight, bam, because I don't think there's anybody above him right now with this stuff. Then when you now go after Am I, you go to the mood nine, Terry the Rap Man, Young Six, Fino, Overdose, Ferocious, even the girls got a one girl, Fluetry, Miss Kiss, that looks like Young Six. I think they're even from the same place. You know, you are Lodia. Some good people, man. It's just, you see these good people, self. Them, they will do one or two, three good songs, or four, and the rest will be rubbish. That's what's always happening. Like, people need to address the nonsense that they are doing. I be last giddy for real. I be rapping last giddy for real. I'm past iller than ill. What else do you know about me? Um, yes, I sell diesel. If you want to buy some diesel. I sell gypsum powder, those stuff that they used to P.O.P. or sealing, that white stuff. I'm also selling uh, mop sticks. <laughs> I sell a lot of stuff, basically. So if you need some stuff that I'm, I'm selling, you can just go to my Facebook page and you see it there. M-I-M-O-9 could do it like this. Maybe B-E-C-N-I Uh... We don't really see too much, you know, it's mostly phone calls and when we see, we just hang out and eat and just go back to where we're going, you know, it's not like we live together or anything like that, so we don't see that much, but when we see, it's just briefly, and most times it's mostly business talk and 
you know, because we are serious people, man. You know, we're always serious about trying to move forward and do what we're doing, you know. It's realized that G, life full of ups and downs. You got to grip it with two hands and hold it down. She has her own problems in life. I think what it is, is she, uh, she's too smart for a man. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's just it. Don't go and quote me or anything. <laughs> I think so, man. She's just too energetic. All by myself. All by myself. Deep thoughts reminiscing. I don't know how to answer that because it's like I don't even really look at her stuff. I don't follow her internet moves or what news they drop in about her. She's just mom to me. I don't know what is good. I don't check on the internet to see what they're saying about my mom now or what she said. So I I don't bother myself about stuff like that or anything. Whether she's controversial, I don't know. She's mom. See, I came in this world all by myself, so I'ma leave all by myself. But JG is the best. If they want to send shots, better leave it in text. Because if they see me with text, they're going to really be stressed. I take a piece of the cake, still keeping the rest. I'm slitting their necks. Guillotine, leave with their heads. I be in the limousine, because the squiller be stretched. The bullshit get disregarded. I cut off these limbs. I ain't got no console. I ain't playing no games. I spread terror. This the next ever. You are now listening to the, to the best ever. I sway graciously. Now this ain't the basic league. Both stands, cold flow, minus 28 degrees. I need the paper, please. They buy the face to feet. It's like the Great Wall of China when they facing me. The brutalizer, barricade, I neutralize and make the long. Hey yo, it's Bruce Lee with the bars. Bruce Lee with the cars. Bruce Lee with the automatic. Chilling out here with comedimatic. In my zone with Nolly Zone. I'm on the throne, and I don't got nothing borrowed. It sound doro, you know, yo. I flow, flow. Yo, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at President Jagger. Follow me, man, Bruce Lee with the bars.